What is up, YouTube? Hellspawn here. It's been a while. Missed you guys. And I'm coming back to you with the first review of a simple little toy. But how I do love my Transformers. I picked this up at uh, Walmart just the other night. Uh, it's the new Transformers Prime Sergeant Cup. Um, I do have the Rumble. I found him as well. So I did pick up Rumble that goes along with him too. Uh, I am currently keeping my eyes open for Skyquake from the uh, Voyager line, and I believe Ultra Magnus and a couple other cool people are coming out on that Voyager line, so be keeping my eyes open for them too. Uh, any of you that know anything about this Transformers Prime line will know that this is pretty much a repaint of what Ironhide is supposed to look like. I believe uh, I heard that uh, they are planning on releasing an Ironhide, but I do like Cup as well. I think it looks really good. I personally do like the colors. A lot of people don't. Um, I think they look pretty good. They're not too uh, overbearing. You can see the parts down here on the bottom. Um, he does come with the two cannons, just like Ironhide would. Um, I do not use them in his robot mode because it makes him look too much like Ironhide. Anything that you could do to this figure to keep him from looking like Ironhide is going to be good for you uh, because it won't make you feel as bad about having two identical figures. So in truck mode, I kind of like them there, but Cup never had anything like this, so I'm, uh, I'm liking this. Uh, one complaint that everybody does have is obviously you look through there and there's, there's empty space in the bed. Um, those cannons do help cover it up, but you know, it's there. I don't display my transformers in vehicle mode like ever, so it really doesn't bother me. Uh, that those are there. Um, transformation on this guy is pretty cool and pretty easy. Um, first thing you're going to do is you're going to lift up on the cab here and this whole thing, even the front of the hood, is all going to pop up just like that. Once you get that up you'll see that the uh, the fists, the arms are under here and you just kind of pull those out to the side for the moment. I like to work on his legs at this point. Split the back of the truck and then you'll see the way that his feet, his feet are actually in there. If you fold this, the back, if you fold the tailgate down, just like this, his foot pops out and all you have to do is turn it sideways, just like that, to put the foot down. So the other one, just kind of, uh, kind of fold this out, turn the foot sideways, and you're good to go. So those are the feetses right there. The other thing you have to do is turn them to the proper position. So just turn them around so that they point forward. All right. So you'll notice his crotch hangs real low right here, and the only way that, or the easy way to do that is just push straight up, and then you will see that his head pops up when you do that. Um, these two little pieces right here do slide out where the headlights are uh, to make room for his face. As you can see, that they're blocking his face right here in the front. So you just uh, eye roll the arms down to make sure that there's enough clearance for them, and then those slide straight out to the side. Sorry, they're hooked on there. There you go. Just kind of slide them straight out from the center off to the side, just like that. Um, the best way to get arm, good arm motion and movement and clearance, the tire should be the opposite direction on his back behind these shoulder pads. So if you rotate the whole assembly back around where the tire is, pointing straight back, the hub should be pointing straight back, and then push his arms up and lift his arms up into those shoulder pads, and that's going to give you the best possible range of motion and arm clearance for him, and it makes him look better too. So rotate the tire back, push the arm up, those do rotate, you can just pop them back down if you end up pushing them up too far. Uh, so now you'll see the arms are kind of like fandangly out there, kind of crazy. Um, the, the fists stay where they are, you do fold the door in on itself to create the forearm like that. Once you have the forearm, just rotate this around so that it is in the right position for the fist. So you just close that and then just kind of rotate this around so that it's the right position. You have your elbow swivel just like that. So there, for the most part, is Sergeant Cut. Now here's where the controversy comes in. There's two different options that you can have. You can see that right now this entire cab assembly is all just kind of hanging out on his back. There's really nothing special going on here. Now, since Ironhide, if anybody has seen Ironhide, let me, I got the little teeny tiny one. Come here, don't knock everything over. All right. 
if you look at the teeny tiny iron hide, which the, this will just be a bigger figure, you could see see the shoulder pads. See on the back right there, this these these headlights fold up over his shoulders to make these big giant massive shoulder pads that are indicative of Ironhide's design. This does that as well, but a lot of people, and I included, think that if you don't fold those over and you kind of just leave everything the way that it is going on here, it helps separate his look from Ironhide a little more. It helps give him more of an individualistic look, a different look than Ironhide so that it's not the exact same thing. And you'll notice, you know, he does look a little bit different. I'll go ahead and fold it back for you so you can see what I'm talking about. But basically you take this and this whole hood assembly has to come out of there. And that's probably the hardest part of this whole transformation. You actually have to get, see how the bumper, the bumper right here is, is part of this whole panel that needs to flip back. And you have to get the corners of that bumper right there over the, the headlights. So you got to pull way out forward for that thing to snap back and you'll see that it just flew off there which will bring me to another one of my points once you once you get that back and up like that the whole thing pushes up and forward and then you can fold these down over the top and then it will kind of almost snap down on top of the uh, on top of the shoulder pads there give me one second you gotta pull it way forward and then this little bar right here will overlap over the front of the chest where the windshield is and then this cab there is a tab in the middle of the cab that tabs into a hole in his back and then this just kind of hangs out back here like that that's the proper way to transform them now I've seen several reviewers do this where it's got this thing just kind of flopping hanging on back there and they say oh yeah you just kind of tuck it back like that and and he kind of just looks like this which is cool but I found that if you're like me and you hate this kind of back kibble shit hanging off, this doesn't have a pin through it. This is just like a friction joint. So like you just saw, this actually pops off. If you take it and flip it upside down and then just re-pop it back onto that hinge like that, it sits flush with his back out of the way. I mean, it's a little bit of kind of parts for me, but you can see now it doesn't stick up in the back and it doesn't stick up on the back there. It kind of just hangs out. It's still a little kibbly, but I think that looks a whole lot better than when it was like kind of sticking up in the back like that. Um, so yeah, so like I said, you can put these shoulder pads down, but again, you, you kind of want this whole thing to be as, as different from Ironhide as you can because it is a repaint. So me, I, I will probably go ahead and just keep these shoulder pads back you got to unplug this from the back. I'll go ahead and just kind of keep these folded back behind his head so that uh, so that it kind of looks as different from Ironhide as you possibly can. And you can either flip this over and put it back here, or you can even leave it down like that. Um, but I think I'm going to leave my guy just like this right here. Um, and I think this is going to be... I think between not folding up those shoulder pads and, uh, and uh, you know... Um, and not using the cannons and whatnot, I think it's going to set him apart enough where he's not going to look totally like Ironhide. They're going to be very close, but, uh, you know, like I said, anything that you can do to kind of set these guys apart from each other is going to be, uh, is going to be helpful. Uh, the cannons do fit on them. I mean, if you want, they fit in his hands. So, I mean, you can, he can, he can hold it like a cannon or, like Ironhide would, you can attach it to his arms and you can have the cannons on the arms if you want, um, which you can imagine when Ironhide actually comes out, that's going to be a pretty imposing looking uh, feature. You can also link them together and make like one big kind of shotgun that he can hold. And the one thing I like about that is you can actually put one in each hand and he can kind of hold it across his body like a shotgun. I think that's pretty cool too. <clears throat> Excuse me. So yeah, there he is. Though the one gripe that I have is, um, you know, obviously nobody likes to see that big gap in the bed when he's in truck mode. Um, and uh, it would have been nice for them to come up with a completely new mold of him um, other than uh, just doing a repaint. 
Um, but the only other thing that I can think of is the guy really needs heels. He either needs heels or his feet need to be set back. Um, you can see he's kind of like leaning forward the way that I have him here to have stand up. If I were to stand him perfectly straight, he is very easy to just fall right over. He, uh, he does I mean, he stands up okay enough, but if you shut the door too hard or something like that and he's sitting on a shelf on your wall, um, the chances of him falling over are pretty good. But um, all in all, really, really awesome figure. Super glad to have him. Uh, I'll do a review on Rumble as well. Um, but uh, I think they're about 16 bucks after tax at, uh, at Walmart. Um, I had a little bit of PayPal money left from some stuff that I sold. Uh, and I had a bad night at work, so I figured I would just, uh, for the first time in a long time, do a little bit of retail therapy and pick him up. Um, I, I, he, I really wanted him. I passed on him one time when I saw him because I didn't want to spend the money. And that night I was like, man, if I could just find this one, I'll buy him. My chances are probably slim that he's still there. And I went into the store, and there he was. He was still there, so kind of uh, kind of meant to be so transformers prime deluxe class ironhide nothing but awesomeness here like i said if you do the shoulder pad gimmick flip that hood over so the kibble is gone it folds up real nice behind his back um i'm going to keep the shoulder pads back to kind of differentiate him from when we do get ironhide but uh Nothing but good things to say about him, man. A lot of people have been kind of knocking on this guy. I think he's really cool, and uh, he's one of the best new characters or the new molds that we've been able to add to our Transformers Prime collections uh, in a while. Um, like I said, Rumble's coming up next. Not so many nice things to say about him. Cool figure, but definitely he, he doesn't look like he has the Transformers Prime look. It's just, you'll see what I mean. He just kind of stands out as not being uh, the same kind of style almost, but... Anyhow, thanks for watching, guys. I'm going to try and start bringing more reviews of little stuff as we go. Uh, I'm, this isn't my triumphant return to YouTube yet. Uh, <laughs> I do have uh, a lot of stuff to show you guys. I was just kind of bored. I just pulled this guy out of the package, and I figured, what the hell, why not? I got my phone, so uh, let's, uh, let's say hello. Anyways, thanks, guys. Really appreciate it. There's the finger of doom!